<laughs> Grand Rising Kings and Queens, I hope you're doing alright so far. I just want you to know that I love you, I appreciate you, I want you to work on yourself so you can be the better version of your best, best self. Now, before I jump into this motivational video, and yes, this is another video of tips to improve your life, and this is part three. Yeah, if you're not following, guys, please show your love and support. Comment, like, share, follow. It really helps out a lot. I want to reach as many persons as possible. I want to inspire as many persons as possible. But let's jump into the video. So yeah, tips to improve your life, part three. I'm going to show it four fingers. <laughs> and we're talking about preparing tea. Now, you might be saying, of course I know how to make tea. Do you? Really? Do you know how to make tea? Now, there are a few ways you can make tea. You can boil tea, you can brew tea, you can steep tea, you can even blanch tea. But I want you guys to understand, for those of you who make tea using natural herbs, there is something that you should avoid when you're doing it. Now, for educational purposes, I am standing underneath my guava tree. So, this leaf is green, right? Whenever you're boiling tea, you're going to put the tea, uh, the leaves in the tea. The water is going to be green at first because the chlorophyll is being released. And if you boil it for longer, it's going to get brown. And if you boil it for even longer, it's going to get really dark. Sometimes it might even get black. I want you to understand that any nutritional benefit that was in the tea, if you boil it for too long, you're going to lose that benefit. Don't believe me, do your own research. Now, if you're actually preparing tea, it is recommended that you use um, dried leaves. So if you're going to do guava leaf tea, pick the guava leaf, leave it to dry. Once it's completely dry, then you can actually boil it. Now, if you're going to prepare tea using green leaves, you'd have to use a method known as blanching. If you don't know what blanching is, good, I can actually teach you something new today. Blanching is a method of preparing food where you actually add your leaves to really hot water for a couple seconds or maybe a couple minutes. You're going to remove it from the hot water and you're going to add it to cold water. You're basically loosening the nutrients and vitamins and cells within the leaves and actually allowing them to be discharged and separated when you add them to the cold water. Now, when you blanch it, you get the full nutritional benefits from the tea. If you don't want to blanch, but you want the full benefits, there's another method you can do. You can do what I do. I prepare chlorophyll. Don't know what chlorophyll is? I have many videos on my, my channel that you can actually follow to learn how to make chlorophyll. Now, if you're going to make um, tea using tea bags, make sure that the sugar to water ratio is correct. Do not make your tea too sweet because sugar is actually used to feed certain pathogens in our body. So if there's too much sugar, you're basically setting an environment for these pathogens to grow and develop and flourish. So minimize the amount of sugar that you use. And if you're going to use um, any sweeteners, use more natural sweeteners. Don't use anything artificial. Use natural sweeteners. All right, guys, I'm going to do a part two.